scientist from Hiroshima University created world's first LED light by using rice husks and chemically obtained products. Milling rice to separate the grain from the husks produces about 100 million tons of rice husk waste globally each year. Scientists searching for a scalable method to fabricate quantum dots have developed a way to recycle rice husks to create the first silicon quantum dot QD LED light. Their new method transforms agricultural waste into state-of-the-art light-emitting diodes in a low-cost, anomaly friendly way. The research team from the Natural Science Center for Basic Research and Development, Hiroshima University, published their findings in the American Chemical Society journal ACS Sustainable Chemistry and Engineering. Since typical QDs often involve toxic materials such as cadmium, lead or other heavy metals, environmental concerns have been frequently deliberated when using nanomaterials. The proposed process and fabrication method for QD minimizes these concerns. Since porous silicon SI was discovered in the 1950s, scientists have explored its uses in applications in lithium-ion batteries, luminescent materials, biomedical sensors, and drug delivery systems. Non-toxic and found abundantly in nature, silicon has photoluminescent properties stemming from its microscopic quantum-sized dot structures that serve as semiconductors. Aware of the environmental concerns surrounding the current quantum dots, the researchers set out to find a new method for fabricating quantum dots that has a positive environmental impact. Waste rice husks are an excellent source of high-purity silica and value-added silicon powder. The team used a combination of milling, heat treatments, and chemical etching to process the rice husk silica. First, they milled rice husks and extracted silica powders by burning off organic compounds of milled rice husks. Second, they heated the resulting silica powder in an electric furnace to obtain silicon powders via a reduction reaction. Third, the product was a purified silicon powder that was further reduced to 3 nanometer in size by chemical etching. Finally, its surface was chemically functionalized for high chemical stability and high dispersivity in solvent with 3 nanometer crystalline particles to produce the silicon QDs that luminescence in the orange red range with high luminescence efficiency of over 20%. The researcher says that this is the first research to develop an LED from waste rice husk adding that the non-toxic quality of silicon makes them an attractive alternative to current semiconducting quantum dots available today. The LEDs were assembled as a series of material layers. An indium tin oxide ITO glass substrate was the LED anode. It is a good conductor of electricity while sufficiently transparent for light emission. Additional layers were spin coated onto the ITO glass including the layers of silicon QDs. The material was capped with an aluminum film cathode. The chemical synthesis method the team developed has allowed them to evaluate the optical and optoelectrical properties of the silicon QD light emitting diode, including the structures, synthesis yields, and properties of the silica and silicon powders and the SIQDs. The team's next steps include developing higher efficiency luminescence in the silicon QDs and the LEDs. They will also explore the possibility of producing silicon QD LEDs other than the orange-red color they have just created. Looking ahead, the scientists suggest that the method they have developed could be applied to other plants such as sugarcane, bamboo, wheat, barley, or grasses that contain silica. These natural products and their waste might hold the potential for being transformed into non-toxic optoelectronic devices. Ultimately, the scientists would like to see commercialization of this eco-friendly approach to creating luminescent devices from rice husk waste.